Hi guys, I'm going to read another of my favourite fairy tales, Rumpelstiltskin. There once was a foolish miller whose pride and joy was his beautiful daughter Isabel. She was sweet and gentle and adored by all. The miller was so proud of Isabel that he boasted about her day after day to anyone who would listen. Tulips start to bloom when my daughter sings, said the miller. When Isabel catches raindrops, they turn into butterflies. My daughter can even spin straw into gold. Soon word reached the king, who rode to the village to hear the miller's amazing tales. Gold from straw, the king cried greedily. How clever. I command you to spin for me tonight. Oh wait, there's been a terrible mistake, said Isabel. But it was too late, and she was carried off to the castle. There in the highest tower was a small wooden spinning wheel and a mountain of straw. Spin me my gold, ordered the king, or I shall throw you in the royal dungeons. Poor Isabel tried everything she could think of. She pedalled the wheel and twisted the straw. She pushed and she pulled, but nothing worked. And as the stars began to twinkle, Isabel started to cry. If only there was someone who could help me, she wept. Suddenly, there was a dazzling flash of light and poof! A strange little man appeared. He had a sharp pointy face and a glittering gold cape. I can spin straw into gold, the little man smirked, and I will help you for a price. But I'm just the miller's daughter, said Isabel. I've got nothing to give. Here's my plan, he said. Tonight I will spin your gold, but one day when you have riches beyond your dreams, I shall return and you must promise me your pick of treasure then. Yes, anything, Isabel agreed gratefully. <coughs> So the little man sat down and at the wheel, he whirr, whirr, around it spun, making coins and crowns and trinkets and trophies until the room glittered with gold. You saved me, said Isabel. How will I ever repay you? Just don't forget your promise, laughed the little man. And with that, he vanished. In the morning, the king returned. He was delighted. What glorious gold, he cheered. You truly are a wonderful girl. You must come and live in my castle. I'd like you to meet my son, Prince Herbert. And like his father, Prince Herbert was handsome and kind, and he and Isabel fell in love at once. Soon, wedding bells rang across the land. The years passed, and the happy couple were blessed with a beautiful baby boy, Prince Hugo. They were so happy, in fact, that Isabel forgot all about the funny little man. Until one stormy night, as the lightning flashed, poof, the little man appeared again. It's me, my pretty one, he cackled. I'm here for the treasure you promised. What treasure would you like, Isabel said. Gold, silver, a diamond necklace? No, screeched the little man. I want something even more precious. I want him. And he pointed right at Hugo. No, said Isabel, you can't take my darling baby. Very well, said the little man. How about a game? If you can guess my name before three nights have passed, you can keep your baby. And chuckling, the little man leapt into the air and vanished. Don't worry, my love, said Hubert, rushing over. That horrid man will never take our darling sweet Hugo. On the first night, Isabel guessed all the names she'd ever heard. Nick, Ned, Norbert, Willy, Wally, Weatherby. No, 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 said the little man. That's not my name. The second night, Isabel and Herbert were up until dawn thinking of new names. Is it Bumble, Knuckle, Grumble, Groot, Wiggle, Boo? No, 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 said the little man. Not even close. Isabel was desperate. I can't think of any more names, she cried. Then we must find out the little man's secret, said Herbert. I have a plan. So the next morning, Herbert sent out to set out to search for the little man. He rode through the village, over the hills and deep into the forest. But the little man was nowhere to be found. Then as the sun was setting in the woods, he saw a flash of a golden cape. Herbert hid behind the tree and watched as the little man danced around a fire, singing, The Queen will never win this game. Rumpelstiltskin is my name. That's it, Herbert whispered. And he rushed back to tell Isabel. That night, the little man appeared one final time. This is your last chance, my pretty one. Oh, let me think, said Isabel. She frowned and scratched her head. Could it be Rumpelstiltskin? Doom and darkness. How did you guess, shrieked Rumpelstiltskin. And he howled and growled and stomped and stamped so hard that he crashed right through the floor, down, down, down into the royal dungeons below. Rumpelstiltskin was never seen in the kingdom again. 
Hugo grew up to be gentle and kind and adored by all, just like his mother. And so they all lived happily ever after. I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Bye.